Hey there stampers, happy Friday and welcome to the month of October. My name is Sherry Roth, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Alberta, Canada and I'm excited to be here today to share a project with you featuring this Nuts About Squirrels stamp set from the July to December mini catalog. Sorry, I'm just getting my iPad all lined up. Okay. All right, so this is a super sweet stamp set um, that, you know what, it wasn't on my radar to begin with, but then I saw a few samples made with it and I just thought it was so adorable and I love the sentiments in it. Hope you're feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed. Nuts about you, super cute. So I've got this fun project to share with you today. It features our little mini jam jars from the annual catalog and a little holder for it. And it's really simple to create. So I'm gonna share how to create that with you. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we are gonna start with a piece of cinnamon cider cardstock that measures six and a half inches by eight inches. And of course we need to cut and score a little bit to create our little mini jam jar holder. So I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer and a pair of long bladed scissors because that will you'll find that helpful. All right, we're gonna open this up and we are going to score along the six and a half inch side first. We're going to line it up with the two and one eighth inch mark. So two and one eighth and we're gonna score all the way down and then we're going to do a 360 and do two and one eighth inches from the other side okay and then we're going to rotate it so we've got the eight inch side at the top and we're going to score at one and a quarter all the way across at three and a half And then at five and a half, what we're gonna do is we're only gonna score from the top to the first score line and from the bottom up to the second score line, okay? So we're gonna score up to that score line and then move our scoring tool up to the top and just score to that top score line. Okay, so we're done with this. We can move this out of the way And my comments keep popping up and then disappearing. Good morning, good morning, Kristen and Mary Liz and Kim, welcome. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is this, this five and a half inch score line, the one that does not go all the way across, we're gonna cut this rectangle and this rectangle out. So I find that long, bladed scissors help with cutting straight for these longer cuts. Okay, and then we'll trim this this way and this one out and then we're going to fold along all the score lines. You can use your paper trimmer to trim these off as well. Okay, I need my bone folder. Here we go. So this Nuts About Squirrels stamp set is the stamp set that I'm featuring in my free class that I'm offering to my VIPs. The class will be held on Sept or September, October 20th at 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time and I am offering free with a $60 purchase from October 1st to the 10th. Um, a minimum $60 order will get you the class kits to create the three projects that I'll be sharing and I'll share a peek at two of those projects a little bit later. Okay, so now we've got something that looks like this. We need to do some more snipping here. So we are going to snip up each one of these lines all the way to the score line. And then here. Okay. 
Good morning, Lorraine. And then here we're making an adorable little treat using the Nuts About Squirrels stamp set today. And then up here. Okay, and then the way we're going to assemble this box is this flap is going to go in, these are going to go up, and then these are going to go inside. So this middle flap is going to go in between these two other flaps. But if you look at it from the front, it doesn't look very nice, does it? So we're gonna clean this up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, okay, this front flap, it's gonna get folded in like this, and then this middle flap, we're going to line these up and then I'm gonna hold it. How can I do this so that you guys can see here? Let's fold these this way so you guys can see. Okay, so I've got it lined up. I'm just gonna take a pencil and just mark where this bit meets this piece of cardstock here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So line it up so that it looks nice and neat from the front. And then hold it in place and then mark it here. And then those tick lines, I'm going to use those as a guide. I'm gonna take my scissors from that tick line up to this corner, I'm going to snip. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Okay. Now we're going to start to assemble. Now if you look, so now this looks quite nice, but when we put these in, you still have that sharp corner here. I find you can do this, make a mark, and do the same thing that we just did, but I find it easier to do after we assemble, so we're going to do that afterwards. I'm just going to find, if I can, okay, I was just looking for my Seal Plus adhesive which does not appear to be where it should be. So let's just use regular seal adhesive. I do usually like to use um, a stronger adhesive when I assemble boxes. Okay, I'm just thinking about this here. Okay, we're gonna do this, these flaps here and here. And then we're going to fold this in, line this up like this, fold this in, line them up. Good morning, Jackie. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take these flaps and these are going to get folded in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm really just going to add adhesive to the bottom bit. See, this is where, okay, let's do two strips here. And then on this one, we'll do two strips. If I feel like I need to add more adhesive, I could always come in with my multi-purpose glue and that fine tip. Okay, you know what? We're gonna add a little bit up here on each one of these flaps. Okay, then we'll fold it in and we're lining that up so the back looks nice. Don't worry about this. We're gonna trim that off so that you can't see that, so it, it doesn't have to be perfectly lined up. We want to make sure that the back is lined up as close as possible. Okay, because that's, what's, that's what we're gonna see. Okay, now we're gonna take the scissors and we are going to trim just like this, up to the top. There we go. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Just like that. And now we've got these nice clean edges. Okay, now it's time to decorate. 
So I am going to use the DSP uh, Beauty of the Earth DSP and some Mary Merlot. So I've pulled my colors right from the DSP. So I'm using Cinnamon Cider, Mary Merlot, and I'm going to use some Bumblebee as well. And I'm just going to use my multi-purpose glue and take my DSP and add it to my Mary Merlot. Now this piece of DSP measures two and an eight, or sorry, two inches by four and a quarter inches. And it's being applied to a piece of Mary Merlot that measures two and an eighth by four and three eighths. So just slightly larger. And then I've got a one by two inch piece of the DSP and that's going to get adhered to a one and an eighth by two and an eighth inch piece of Mary Merlot. And then this piece will go on this front part of the box. And then this piece is going to go on the inside. And I like using multi-purpose glue for these kinds of things because it gives you the flexibility to kind of position things slide things around a little bit, get it just where you want it before it actually adheres. Okay, so there's our box. Now we need to work on our little jar and our tag. So I'm gonna set that aside for a minute. Now here I've got one of our mini jam jars that I've filled with some peanut M&Ms. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon. This is from the annual catalog. We're going to wrap it around the top of the lid and tie a bow. Now you can adhere it to this if you want. You can use a little mini glue dot to hold it in place, but I find that it's, it's good just as is. I guess if it's going to be handled a lot, it might be worthwhile. Sorry, I should move this back in camera so you guys can see. Okay, and then I'll just play around with it, get it to look the way I want it to look. And so my loops are even. There we go. And then we'll trim that. Okay, so you can leave it like this. So you could leave it just like that and it's really cute, but we're gonna add a tag because we always need to add just a little bit more, right? Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've die cut a circle from the Layering Circles dies from Bumblebee cardstock and I used this one here. So this is the fifth smallest layering circle. So that's the size. And then I'm gonna bring in a piece of basic white cardstock and my little squirrel and memento ink and we're going to stamp it on the white my camera seems to be a little bit closer than normal so i'm just i keep moving things a little bit off camera here all right so we've got that. So the outline is done with Memento ink. And then I'm going to use, I'm gonna bring in my Stampin' Pierce mat for this next step. And I'm gonna use some cinnamon cider. So this is a two-step stamp. So there is a solid image that, can add, that you can add some color with. So I'm gonna use cinnamon cider I'm going to grab a scrap piece of paper because I do want to stamp off so it's a little bit lighter. I'll ink up that solid image and then stamp off on my scrap and then bring back my white and now I'm going to line it up. Now photopolymer stamps make this nice and easy to line up. So I'll just push that down. Make sure I get a nice good impression. And look at that, just brings it to life. Adds a little bit of color. So cute. These 
these squirrels are so sweet in this set. All right, and then there is not a die set that goes with this. So I went ahead and I fussy cut that so that you wouldn't have to watch me fussy cut. So I fussy cut around that and I'm gonna bring back my circle and my greeting that says nuts about you, which is so appropriate because we've got our little jam jar filled with peanut M&Ms. And we're gonna stamp this kind of towards the top right of our circle so that we've got enough room for our little squirrel to sit on there. And then we're gonna use some dimensionals for this guy. I'll put a few on here. Make sure he's nice and sturdy. So I'm just using my grid mat to make sure that my words are straight. Position the squirrel on there. And then to attach it to our little jar, I'm just gonna use a 1 8 inch circle punch and punch a hole. And then I'm gonna use some black Baker's twine. So I'll just take a little bit of that, feed it through the hole, and then bring my jam jar back. So if you do wanna use adhesive for this, you'll want to wait until depending on where you're putting the adhesive, I guess, you'll wanna wait until after you've done this bit. But if I were to add adhesive to the ribbon to hold it in place, I'd probably put a little bit underneath the knot and then another little bit, maybe a, a mini glue dot at the back. Okay. So I've got that in there. Let's stand it up here, It'll be easier. And I'm just gonna tie a knot and then trim the ends. And then our cute little gift is done. This would be so cute on your table at Thanksgiving or little co-workers gifts. Look, look how cute that is. You could even leave it just like this. You wouldn't necessarily have to put it in the container, but in the little jar holder, it looks so sweet. So super easy to make, it doesn't require a lot of supplies and it gives you a cute little gift idea. All right, so just a reminder that if you place a minimum $60 order with me using this host code between now and October 10th of this year, then I will send you the supplies to create the three cards that we're going to create in my Nuts About Squirrels class and here is a little peek at two of them and I've got another card which is a little bit of a fun fold that we're going to do so a 3d project and two cards that we'll be doing on October 20th at 9 30 a.m over in my VIP group um, and oh there was something else I was going to tell you I just drew a blank but that's okay all the information will be in the description above <laughs> Um, I appreciate you guys being here this morning and watching with me. Um, and I'd love for you, if you create, if you use this idea and create something and share it online, I'd love for you to tag me. I always love to see what you guys make because of course you could turn this into Christmas. You could do something um, with leaves. There's so many options, right? You could create something for a little birthday, for wedding favors um, or shower favors, uh, baby favors. So you could do lots of cute little ideas. So if you use this idea and share it online, be sure to tag me. All right. So thanks so much for watching and have a fabulous weekend.